And these frigid temperatures can be especially dangerous for the community's homeless. Today, advocates started their annual point in time count. The effort is used to identify need and get people help. Dylan Srocki joins us from downtown Rockford. Dylan, organizers say the cold won't stop this count. Yeah, Eric and Mimi, four different teams made up of community advocates will start combing the streets of Rockford in about an hour. They'll be searching parks like this one right behind me, as well as other places where homeless people might gather. That includes places like abandoned buildings, bus stops, and local shelters. Organizers say accuracy is crucial. The results can have a direct impact on funding provided by the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. The count also doubles as outreach to some of the state line's most vulnerable. We really want to be mindful of, you know, kind of looking everywhere we possibly can to find people. Um, and not only is it important for us to count them and do a survey, but for our actual everyday purposes, we want to make contact with those folks, get them on our list of people that need assistance, and be able to work with them in the future to hopefully help them get into permanent housing. With dangerously cold temperatures forecasted over the next few days, Walker says it's especially important for people to know where they can go to escape the elements. We'll have more on that coming up tonight at 9 and 10. For now, reporting live in Rockford for your home team, I'm Dylan Siraki. Thanks, Dylan.